clip revealed. Charles caught when angered by outrageous Andrew and stubborn Sarah brazenly staying Royal Lodge. Prince Charles is said to be furious over Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson's absolutely outrageous living arrangements, according to a source. However, Prince Andrew has been spotted in Scotland on the Queen's Balmoral estate. There is rumor that his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson and their daughters Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie are also invited. The Prince of Wales is claimed to take issue with the Duke and Duchess of York's use of the 30-room Royal Lodge, just three miles away from the Queen at Windsor Castle. The royal pair, who mutually decided to divorce in 1996, still share the property, with the Duchess recently conducting interviews at the royal property. They are even packaging suitcases to come to the castle with the Queen for her summer break. Queen Elizabeth II, 95, travels to Aberdeenshire to spend several months in the Scottish Highlands at Balmoral Castle every year. On Monday she marked the official start of her summer holidays by attending a ceremonial display in the castle's grounds. Sources have claimed Prince Charles is angered over Sarah being a permanent resident of the royal property. One claimed, Andrew and Sarah might try to argue that she is only a guest, but the reality is that she lives at Royal Lodge and has done so for some time. The Queen is very affectionate towards the Duchess of York, but Prince Charles thinks the whole setup is absolutely outrageous. It adds to the embarrassment of the situation. Andrew's arrival at Balmoral came hours after the royal household was hit by fresh scandal after Jeffrey Epstein accuser Virginia Jufri filed a lawsuit in the USA on Monday, claiming the Duke of York takes advantage of her. Sarah, who recently released her debut novel Her Heart for a Compass, conducted an interview with Town & Country magazine from Windsor Lodge to promote her new romantic novel. Andrew Goldman wrote in Sarah's interview, It's a spring afternoon in England, and Ferguson is perched in a corner of Royal Lodge that was once inhabited by King George IV and that she has shared with her ex-husband, Prince Andrew, since 2008. In her interview, Sarah moved to a bedroom of the lodge to issue a statement about her identity. She said, I don't want to say it's going to be a reassessment of Fergie or reinvention. Fergie is so steadfast that she will always be here. Despite no longer having a formal royal role, Prince Andrew is still thought to be the Queen's favorite son and is likely to have received an invite from her to visit Balmoral with his family this summer. Dan Wadden, who quoted the source in his Mail Online column, also suggested Charles and Prince William are outraged over Andrew's conduct over his friendship with evil Jeffrey Epstein and scandal of Virginia Roberts Jeffrey. While Andrew has not responded to this latest development he has previously categorically denied all allegations made against him by Ms. Jeffrey. His source claimed, the ongoing personal scandal involving Prince Andrew and Jeffrey Epstein is a source of much heartache for Charles and William who are trying to protect the future of the monarchy. There is now an active discussion at the most senior levels of the royal family about how Andrew can remain at the royal lodge, given the circumstances. The Queen will not want to upset Andrew and she loves having him close by as they regularly ride together. On Tuesday, Daily Mail editor Richard Eden seemed to confirm Andrew and Fergie had arrived at Balmoral on Twitter. He wrote, Prince Andrew and his ex-wife have now arrived at Balmoral. No doubt the Queen will have a few awkward questions for her son. This can make Charles really furious, and a commentator said that we may see even clips that Charles getting angry on the way to Balmoral. Ms. Jai Uefra on Monday filed a civil suit in the federal court in New York seeking substantial damages. She said in a statement to ABC News on Monday, I am holding Prince Andrew accountable for what he did to me. The powerful and the rich are not exempt from being held responsible for their actions. Andrew is yet to respond to the lawsuit.